So welcome everyone to unit number one. In unit number one, a, uh, we're going to be talking about procurement, strategy, and logistics. Remember, this is just a very short video lecture to give you the overall. I'm not going to spend more than five minutes on each one of the topics. Later, you can go into the slide, you can listen to my explanation, and then we can further go into it. So pretty much this unit is about explaining how companies procure, means how they purchase their products or the supplies that they, they need in order to, to manufacture a certain uh, product. We can say shoes, we can say how they buy the fabric, etc. And of course, we need to understand that there's companies that are leaders in this kind of procurement because they need to get a lot of materials from many different places. So that's world-class procurement. When we talk about like a, uh, well, high brands, any of the high brands that you can think of, Nike, Samsung, iPhone, those are world-class procurement because they get a lot of materials, they get them at the best cost, they manage them well, and they are always able to deliver quality, right? And this, this the foundation of this world-class procurement is based on a strategy that the company already has corporate strategy that says how are we going to source those products, where are we going to source them, how are we going to produce them, what resources are we going to use to produce them, and then uh, we maximize the cost of them, right? If we know this is going to be the cost, so make sure that we deliver the best quality or the best cost. Sometimes it's about delivering quality, sometimes it's about delivering just uh, um, a good price for it. In the case of Daiso, for example, they deliver um, in 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 terms of uh, in terms of cost. They deliver cheap cheap materials, cheap products. That leads us to think also about the logistics. So logistics is how all the materials move across all the supply chain. So when we talk about the supply chain, it's very simple. Is we have a material, it comes, a, well. We source it, it comes to the factory, we produce it, we handle it, we store it. If we need to store it, we have a warehouse and how long it takes for move to that warehouse into the distribution centers, from distribution centers to the retailing shops. And then after that, we also uh, take a look on how long it took that process. So all of that is a supply chain and those are logistics. I mean, the way of we have measure how the product came, was processed and delivered, and uh, yeah, how we managed it. E lastly, let's talk about the value chain. So the value chain is very simple. As I was explaining just now about supply chain and logistics, we say this is a whole process, right? We get a certain material, we process it, we deliver it, but that is not, it sounds very simple, but in reality, we're always looking for ways to deliver value. So what is value? Something that either the end consumer can see or internally the company can see. If I can get, for example, a material that is very cheap because I bought it in bulk and that means that I can reduce my cost and increase my profit, that's good for me. So that creates some value for me because that's generating more profit for the company. But Let's say, for example, in another way of creating value is we have a good material, uh, delivers a lot of quality, perhaps it's more expensive, but I'm delivering that, that, that value to the consumer, to the end consumer. Let's think about, for example, Louis Vuitton bags. So Louis Vuitton bags, they have quality leather, and that leather produces value. Why? Because if it's a good quality can be more resistant the same thing as a handcraft is handmade so that delivers value so it's adding a little bit of value a little bit of value a little bit of value and what is the end uh, what is the end result of it is it's just very simple people pay a lot of money for those luxury bags and I mean that's good for them let's think about that also for them the cost of production is not that high why because they already start to do mass production of all this of all these products and that also generates value so value comes in very different ways later in the slide you can see a video generated for example from BMW generating BMW generating value for, for their brand okay so pretty much that's unit number one in a nutshell after you can go and read it now you understand what is all this about um, 
again the this this short video lectures will be sh very short so that you can just focus very quickly on what it is get through all the information very quickly and just get done with it okay thank you so much if you have any questions make sure that you post them on the forum i can i can answer them if there's something that is not very clear or you need further examples you can do it uh, through those means thank you so much and um study hard <laughs>